Being a top producing realtor that focuses all over San Diego, George Lormer really knows his business and I can't wait to dive into Bankers Hill with him today. George, how are you? Great. How are you doing, Molly? Good. It's so nice to see you. Good to see you. Where are we? Well, we're in Bankers Hill, the corner of 4th and Laurel, right by Balboa Park, and we're going into West Bean Coffee Roasters. Oh, I need some caffeine, so thank you for bringing me here. Yeah, certainly. All right, well, George, Bankers Hill is full of a lot of really unique things. Yeah. What's going on in the real estate market over here? So, it's expensive. I mean, highest price condo is 4.75 million. Oh yeah. God. So, you got views of everywhere because it sits really high up and there are over 4,000 square feet and like a loft penthouse type of place. Oh my gosh, that yeah. sounds like my dream place to be, especially with everything that there is to do down here. Yeah, and prices start at 375 for a condo here. So, so pretty affordable yeah. still. It's affordable relative to San Diego and then it's, we've got ultra luxury and it's the neighborhood here right between Hillcrest, downtown, and Little Italy, and then Balboa Park on the other side. Okay, let's go grab our coffees. Those look amazing. This Which? one, the lavender one? This one? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Oh, cheers. These are adorable. Cheers. I'll go sit outside. Okay, so real estate market right now, what is going on? So we're seeing more inventory. Uh, we're seeing sales slowing a little bit and we're seeing like a flattening of the prices in the market. So stuff's still selling. It's just not the crazy market it's been the last three or four years. So what does that mean for buyers though? So for buyers, here's what you can do as a buyer. You're gonna have more inventory. Here's the reason not to wait, is interest rates are probably going up. So unless you have all cash, 4.75 million or 379,000, whatever price range you buy, if you're gonna get a loan, if the interest rates go up, any lower in price, which will really be not too much, just a maybe one or 2%, is gonna be way offset on a higher monthly payment with your mortgage interest rates going up. That's so important to know because sometimes I think that, you know, the media and everything around yeah. us is like, buyer's market, buyer's market, but you're gonna get in for a lower price but with this inflated interest yeah. rate, and so it really is not affordable. Yeah, and here's the weird thing, Molly, that a lot of times people don't realize is, you know, you're, you're looking at all this stuff and you go, oh, we switched to a buyer's market. Well, this is pretty much it in San Diego. If no other homes were listed on the market, and we continued to sell at the same pace, we'd have no more homes or condos to sell in four months. Wow. So the absorption rate. So they generally say six months or longer of inventory is considered a buyer's market. So right oh. now we're at four months. So like, for example, if you're in a, a neighborhood or a building down here, and let's say five properties sell per month, right? So in three months, 15 properties sell. If there's 10 on the market, you only have two months worth of inventory. Oh, okay. So if you wait, there might not be any to sell yeah. or the prices might go up. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Well, George, I love talking real estate with you because that's kind of your niche, but I have a niche that I want to show you too. Yeah, what? Let's go check it out. Okay. <laughs> so what, what do you got me involved in, Molly? Okay, so this is like the new hot thing to do to get from like bar to bar, downtown after a couple cocktails, not too many though. No. Hopping on one of these electric scooters. Awesome, let's do it. Super fun. George, I know these are like super controversial right now in San Diego, but I really like them. Yeah, like safety and everybody leaves them everywhere. I know, I know Coronado's actually banned these completely. Yeah, well, there's a lot of people, um, a lot of people get off my lawn there, I guess, right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Sweeping their driveway and... <laughs> <laughs> okay, George, you have been in real estate forever. Yes. And I keep on looking at houses and I keep on seeing like these phrases uh -huh. I'm starting to understand that realtors get creative with phrases. Oh my gosh, isn't that true? It's bad. Like, what do you think charming means, Molly? I would like think of charming as like maybe an older house, right? Yeah, or it could mean really small or really old, <laughs> right? <laughs> my favorite one that I've seen so far was original bathrooms. I and know. That way, you know, you think, and the best have kept it really clean, meticulously kept is another right. one. And you go in and it's pink tile and a green bathtub. Yeah, right? it's original or mid-century original. Or like, what about the kitchen remodel? And you go, oh my God, it's gonna be amazing. And then they just purchased a bunch of Ikea cabinets. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely have to um, know what's going on with some different like terms people use. 
Molly, this has been a blast. I'm gonna use it all the time. My I office am, is like two blocks away. I am so glad that you love the bird scooters as much as I do because I have a blast riding these. So now I get to see you go in your meetings in these. Exactly. All right, George, well, I am looking forward to getting back to that cup of coffee. Yeah, this let's go get amazing. it. All right. But thanks for having me out in Vegas today. Thanks for being here. Oh, thank you so much. All right. So enjoy the rest awesome. of our coffee. Okay, cool.